one of the most misunderstood things about switching is about where is your money truly spent? Is it just on the price of the switch itself or is it truly on the time you have to spend to where it begins adding value? Where Cisco's been very focused on how to eliminate that time on your behalf. It's about saving you money, not just on the switch, but about on your time as well, and that is valuable these days. Jimmy Ray Purser caught up with Tom Zingali to get the answers to these questions. It can't be as easy as taking out of the box and plugging into the rack. I mean, how, how, how does that work? Yeah, it can be. So effectively, you set up a, a, an aggregation switch or a, what we call a director with config and images, or, point, or you're able to point to a config and image. Then when you take a switch out of the box, you just plug it into the network, the switch actually through DHCP recognizes um, this, the type of switch and downloads the correct you know, configuration and uh, brings that switch up. So you're right on the network, it's total plug and play, zero touch. This is uh, new capabilities that are really coming out you know, now and very soon actually. That's well. perfect for like replicated sites, branch offices, yes. those type of stuff. We may not have the IT right. folks down there, right. but, but anybody can like, take a switch out of the box and plug it in. Yeah, anybody. Pretty and we can cool. take it farther than that. We can actually do zero touch replace in the future. So if a switch breaks down, you can actually take the switch out of the network, replace it with a like switch, and we'll go, ah, that's the same kind of switch. It's in the same place in the topology. Oh, it needs the same config file. We give it that same exact config it had before. So literally zero touch replace. Wow, what else you got for ease of use? That's pretty darn impressive. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good, right? Yeah. Well, take it, okay, so that's getting the base config out on the switch, right? But then, say you want to uh, configure the switch for different types of devices, like a phone or an access point. Yep. What you can do is basically plug in any type of device, phone or access point on any port on a switch, and we'll be smart enough to recognize, hey, this is a phone, and auto-configure that port. So we basically bring the switch up, give it an IP, give it a host name, and now you plug and play things to it, brings them up on the network, switch how's is ready to go. How's, how's it figuring that out? Well, through CDP, LLDP, through MAC address, um, or the OUI of MAC, all these different ways we can actually recognize a device, like even a printer, and bring up a special config for that port for that device. So you make a little macro. Yes. Do you make it, or are they already there? Some come uh, at default, but you can actually customize if you want. Very cool. And we put on the QAS, the security, anything you need to bring that switch on, to bring that port up. And so, so it's, a, it's, it's a global setting, it's yes. actually snooping on all these ports and it's sensing whatever it is we've configured in there yes. and then it, boom, it all sets it up and we're ready to rock and roll. Yep. So from the, from the install, plugging in the switch in, getting the base config on, bring it up, plug the devices in, thing is up and running. Oh man, that is sweet. It is nice. Well, what else do we got here? So let's take it one more step. The other part of this is op, you know, operational and troubleshooting, right? That's a big problem, Man, right? that is a, that's a huge problem. Right, so what Cisco is going to try to do is come up with a, a smart troubleshooting system, which is a help system that will be able to run on the web on Cisco.com in an iPhone or even within the switch and allow you to do basic troubleshooting steps if you have a problem with the switch. Really? Yes. And now how does that work? So again, it's, it's a web interface. It, yeah. You have a certain problem you, you have, let's say, the uh, PC can't connect to the switch. Mm -hmm. And you go through a step-by-step -step set of, 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 of questions and answers, and then you come up with a uh, set of a resolution for that. And it actually can connect to the switch and bring up information like what VLANs, you know, what's the voice VLAN, for instance, and, and that kind of thing, and tell you how to uh, troubleshoot the switch that way. So we're talking something different than like, uh, like Smart Call Home, right? which is, which is more uh, reactive. Yes. You're, you're talking about something that actually will kind of wizardly walk you through how to basically set this thing up. Right, when someone is like in a troubleshooting mode, they want to you know, solve a certain issue, they look through a set of issues, pick the one they want, walk through, it helps them with that problem. Very cool, so we got, we got three uh, pretty important features yes. here. We got, the, we got the auto install, right? Smart install, yes. Smart install. Smart then configuration, or auto smart ports, as Auto we call smart it. ports, very yeah. cool. Yes. And then this, this feature's called? Smart troubleshooting. Smart troubleshooting, yes. very cool. And all these things help lower your TCO, right? Total cost of ownership. Uh -huh. They obviously save, save you time, energy, save you know, the cost of deploying a network, right? Well, it's a good way to extend your IT staff, too. You get somebody out there that can uh, set up a, a template, right. and now my IT staff of one person is now just scattered all over the place, and it can really, I can do a lot more with a lot less. Sure, yeah, that's, that's cool. really the idea, yes. Very cool. Well, Tom, thanks a lot, man. Right, that's good you. stuff, buddy. Okay, thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.